Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are in the town of Sopotai, exploring the historic park, which contains stuff like this. Sokotai is not directly accessible by train. If you're traveling from Bangkok or Chiang Mai, you need to alight at the town of Pitsanalok. You can then choose whether to stay in Sokotai itself or in Pitsanalok. We chose the latter. Pitsanalok is not a tourist destination, but it is a lovely, quiet place to base yourself. We stayed in a clean and modern room at the 8 Factory Hostel. If you're visiting in December, you'll be able to enjoy the town's extensive Christmas and New Year illuminations. Sokotai's historic park is around one hour away by minibus. Let's now head to the park to check it out. So, very similar vibes to Ayataya, which we featured in an earlier video. So lots of temple complexes to explore. One big difference with this one though, here in Sokotai, is that you pay one fee. And that fee is only 100 baht. And that gives you access to the inner zone. And once you're in, you're in. You just get to uh, transport, transport your way around uh, the park and view the uh, historic buildings at your leisure. And you can transport yourself in a variety of ways. They have a tram, you can hire a tuk-tuk, um, or you can do what we did and hire some bicycles. And there are lots of places in the town where you can hire your bike. And we paid 30 baht for the day, which is an absolute bargain. You do get quite a creaky bike for that, but it gets you around and that's the main thing. And then yeah, this is this is the sort of thing that you get to see. We've actually started our explorations in the sort of headline act, if you like, of the park. And it's in really good condition. And oddly, there's, there's hardly anyone here, which is very, very strange considering that the town was fairly busy. There is one other person here, Jade's here. <laughs> oh yeah, we've had to look at this one. Oh, what, this kind of stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a little elephant down here. I think that's a top tip. If you do come to parks like this, look out for the fine detail because you can often be kind of dazzled, if you like, <laughs> by the main structure. But yeah, look out though for the fine detail. Sometimes it's quite high up and sometimes it's low down, but it is there.
lovely here, so lovely and peaceful. And it's nice just to be able to cycle around without having to worry about traffic. It's very hot though, goodness me. Really hot. But it's worthwhile, look at this. Now. Sorry for intruding guys, but I think if I was a pigeon this is where I'd hang out too. basically darting from one shady spot to the next, getting uh, flashbacks from uh, when I visited Pompeii in Italy as a child. That was a hot day too. Do you remember that guys? Do you remember that? This is the scale of Sokotai Historical Park. It's huge. And there's just temple complexes everywhere. I think this is just the central zone as well. Yeah. There's other areas that have their own admissions charges where you can see things, but um, it's not possible to do it all in one day. If you've just got one day, then you need to focus on the central zone really, where kind of the, the, high, the main highlights are in terms of temples and ruins. Yeah, particularly if you're coming from Fitzsamalok. Perhaps if you're staying here in Sokotai. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a couple of days. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, this central zone, one day, yeah? We've explored the uh, central zone a little bit quicker than we expected. Perhaps it was the heat, but yeah, we kind of raced around. Actually, we raced around a lot of things that we visit, to be fair. Um, so when you come, perhaps, perhaps you can give it a bit of extra time. 
Now though, we are cycling just north of the city uh, to visit Watsi Chum, which I've just read uh, is described as, well, they say if, if you're going to visit any of the temple complexes um, outside of the central zone, then this is the one to come to. So we've arrived at Wat Si Chum, which is part of the north zone of the historical park here at Sokotai. Worth noting that it costs an additional 100 baht for the north zone that gives you access to two temples. And then there's a further zone, is that called the west zone, northwest zone, something like that? West. West zone, which can only imagine costs an additional 100. Yeah, yeah, it does? 100. They're all 100? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, there is some conflicting information online stating that uh, the government had got rid of the separate zone tickets. Uh, but seemingly they're back in force. But it's fine, it's only 100 baht and uh, it looks pretty good from here. So we were on our way back to drop off our bikes, but we were passing Wat Sarasak or Sarasan. Oh no, I'll have to look that up. I'll put it on the screen. And obviously we could not resist stopping. Let's have a closer look. So that was our day in Sokotai. We've had a lovely day cycling around and looking at all of the temples. Um, certainly if you are heading in this direction, you should definitely stop here. That said, is Sokotai better than Ayutthaya in our opinion? Uh, probably not. No, I think we had a nicer time uh, in Ayutthaya than we did in Sokotai. Perhaps though that's just our circumstances, the fact that we're just kind of doing a day visit to Sapatai from a uh, nearby name here, because I've completely blanked on it. Anyway, it's now the evening, the sun is going down, and uh, we are waiting, with any luck, for a bus to arrive to take us to Fitzamalok, Fitzamalok, yes. Um, just a quick shout out. If you are stopping in Sokotai, look this place up because the lady who runs it was extremely helpful in arranging um, a bus for us. Um, whereas I'd asked at other like information desks and they kind of went, mm. yeah, whereas she made phone call for us and has, assuming it comes, has arranged a bus 
for us, which is really kind of her, uh, especially considering that we're not staying here. So the least I can do is give, give the place a shout out. There's a link in the description if you're interested. We've had to look at the photos and it is definitely somewhere that we would stay. Um, so yeah, hopefully there's a room available if you're looking for somewhere to stay in Sokotai. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more adventures from Thailand and other countries in Asia. Next time, we're visiting the incredible temples and the rescued elephants of Chiang Mai.